believe food comes from the supermarket. I'm not one of them. with a nice bronzy so I've actually given the rod to my buddy Brendan there he hasn't got a, a bronzy in a while so yeah sharing is caring guys now oh, Brendan's doing fine he needs to land this fish he hasn't got a big bronzy in a long time by the tail in the water so it's done yeah, tuna circle perfectly in the corner of the mouth Woohoo! all my buddies well done Brendan yes man how's it uh, all you catch cook viewers yeah the wind's blowing a bit so I'm actually holding the phone in the bucky so we don't get any wind noise um yeah i had an awesome day here at broken road uh, the mission was to get my mate brendan on a on a bronzy which i successfully did he landed a nice bronzy of about oh, 60 kilos 70 kilos i'm gonna head home and i'm gonna cook you guys a yellowtail chutney so it's like a fish chutney yellowtail fish chutney i got this yellowtail um a couple days ago off cape point and um, yeah, can't wait. I don't have any footage of the yellowtail because the GoPro fell in the water. But anyway, that's a story for another day. I'm gonna head home now, then I'm gonna do this cook for you guys. How's it guys? Yeah, I've just cut the head off and I'm gonna use the head as bait so nothing goes to waste. Yeah, and I'm just gonna cut nice fillets and uh, remove the skin and uh, do my magic after that. I'm busy starting to skin the, the yellowtail. What I actually do, I just get going and then I keep wrapping the skin over the knife so it gives me a bit of better grip when pulling out the skin. Voila, job done. Gonna keep that. Can use it for chum later. If you'd like to win one of our Catch Cook t shirts valued at 500 Rand, please like and subscribe to our channel and comment on how you're enjoying the content down below. Uh, the remainder, this middle section, nothing goes to waste. This is excellent uh, bait. I'm going to use that for, for bait. Just basically, I'm going to build my bait up with that. Smash it with a chocker hammer and you can use that around your bait. I've got the fish. It's all cleaned and cut nicely. Uh, what I need is some oil, some chakalaka, tomato and onion mix, some of this Raja all-in-one spice, great stuff. Uh, some mixed herb for later. Uh, I need some onion, some uh, jeera powder, some of the uh, this uh, all-in-one spice, ginger garlic, and the dry chilies. I'm gonna just marinate the fish and I'm gonna fry the fish. So I'm gonna squeeze a lemon. And then I'm gonna use the same uh, Raja spices, the same one, yeah? This uh, Raja all in one, I'm just going to marinate it a bit and then I'm going to fry it. The oil is getting hot there. Oh, it's ready. I'm going to fry all this fish, lightly fry it. I don't want to over fry this thing, I just want to lightly fry it because we're still going to braise it in the chutney and then add the chakalaka to it. Just trying to turn it. So it just browns, you know, evenly. I don't want to cook it too much. We are done. We had this thing on for about maybe two and a half, three minutes. I don't know if you can see, it's just starting to get white a little bit there. Uh, that's what we need. 
So it's ready now. I'm just gonna take this off the plate, off the stove, and I'm gonna just leave it to the side. And now I'm gonna bring this pot here. This is actually half an onion. This is half a teaspoon jeera powder. This is two teaspoons of this Raja all-in-one curry spice, one teaspoon ginger garlic, and a half a chili, red chili. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna braise the onion, I'm gonna add the onion in, a half a teaspoon of the gin, um, ginger dania powder, and the ginger garlic. I'm also just gonna add some bay leaf, some cinnamon stick, and some clove. Let it fry. All right, looking nice. It's starting to get brown now, so I'm gonna add the spice. Mmm. Looking good. I'm actually gonna add the tomato and onion mix. So I'm just gonna let this braise for maybe a minute. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add a little bit more water. So just to save and not to waste. So what I've done, I've added some water into this uh, can. Not a lot, just a little bit of water. Like about quarter. Just to thin it a bit. And uh, once that's done, at this point, we've got a nice tomato soup going here. So what we can do, we can add the fish in here and just let it simmer. And we can have it just like that because that is actually the traditional fish chutney that we all make. But we're gonna add a little bit of a twist to it where we're gonna add the fish into this chutney and then we're gonna add the chakalaka. So guys, I'm gonna add the, the fish in here. Fish is in, just stir it lightly. Just let that cook for simmer for about another five minutes, I'd say. So we let all that juices from the sauce soak into the fish, and then we'll add the chakalaka, and let that, and then uh, let that simmer for another couple of minutes, and then we're ready to eat. Mmm, this thing looks awesome. All right, looks great. So yeah, we had it going for a couple of minutes. So what I'm going to do at this stage, I'm just going to add the the chakalaka in here. I'm gonna add the whole can. I'm just gonna mix it lightly. Oh, this thing looks lovely. This fish chutney, chakalaka fish chutney looks awesome. And some mixed herbs. Just a little bit. You put this at the end, so it just gives it that nice herby taste. I'm just gonna lightly mix this lightly. Let it simmer for another couple of minutes. Now get to see the masterpiece. Uh, just one quick shout out, I wanna say thanks to my mom. Mom, you did a good job, uh, you trained me well, and I know you'll be proud of me. Remember, trust only what you harvest. Catch, cook, trust only what you harvest, guys. This is it, this is the masterpiece. Mm. I'm just gonna take a bit. Got my roti ready to go. Lovely. Time for the taste. Lovely, this chakalaka chutney, something new. Lovely. The roti, it is awesome. Cheers guys.